The number of home sales in our region declined 24% in March relative to last year. Is this a sign of our market cooling off and what does this mean for prices? I'm Adina Dragasanu, Oakland Realty, here with your April 2022 market update. Let's jump into the numbers and take a look at what's actually happening in our market right now. Let's take a closer look at what's happening with sales. As I mentioned, sales in March were down 24% relative to March of last year. But we have to remember that March of last year was the highest selling month we've ever had in our region's history. If we look at how last month's sales compared to the 10-year sales history for the month, we see that they were still up 25.5% relative to that 10-year average. And compared to February of this year, sales were up 27% in March. On the supply side, we've seen an increase in the pace of new listings coming onto the market by about 22% relative to February. But compared to last year, the pace is down about 20%. So while the total inventory of homes available for sale in our market is up about 13% relative to February, it's down about 17% relative to what we were seeing this time last year. So what we're seeing here is similar to what we were seeing this time last year. While we're starting to see a bit more balance coming into the market, inventory is still not keeping up with buyer demand. And for this reason, we're still seeing prices increase across most segments. If we look at the sales active listings ratio, which is our leading indicator of where prices are headed, we see that it's currently at 57%. This is up from 51% in February. However, there's also an important trend to watch out for here, and this is something that we've discussed in the previous few months, and that's a shift in demand away from detached properties and back towards condos and steady in the townhome segment. So let's take a look at how this breaks down by property type and how it compares to what we were seeing this time last year. Starting in the detached segment, we've seen a decrease in the sales active listings ratio, currently at 39%. It's down from 53% this time last year. For townhomes, it's remained relatively steady at 73%, down just slightly from 80% this time last year. And for apartment condos, it's actually increased to 70%, up from 65% this time last year. Generally, analysts say that we start seeing upward pressure on prices when this ratio is over 20% for a sustained period of time. So you can see all three segments are currently in that seller's market territory with prices expected to increase. However, we have seen this decline quite a bit in the detached segment, so it'll be interesting to watch in the next few months and see what happens there. So let's take a look at what's actually happening with prices. The HPI Composite Benchmark price for all residential properties is currently at $1,360,000. This is up about 3.5% relative to last month, and it's up about 21% relative to last year. If we look at this by property type, we see that in the detached segment, prices are up 3.5% relative to February, and they're up over 23% relative to March of last year. In the townhome market, we see that prices are up 4.4% relative to February, and they're up about 28% relative to March of last year. And finally, for condos, we see that prices are up about 3.5% relative to February, and they're up about 17% relative to March of last year. What we've been seeing on the ground working with our clients is that definitely the frenzied pace of what was going on in February and January seems to be easing off a little bit, but we're far from a buyer's market. If anything, it seems that we're still in a high end of a seller's market, returning back to a little bit more balance. And this is very welcome news for buyers. So what does this mean for you? Well, for buyers in our marketplace, especially in the detached segment, there seems to be a little bit more inventory and a little bit more breathing room. However, we are still seeing multiple offers and prices haven't shown signs of easing off just yet. If you've been looking to sell or make a move up in the market, you really need to be plugged in and know exactly what's going on in the market. The strategies that we're recommending for our clients right now are very different than what we were recommending one or two months ago. So make sure that you're working with an expert that knows your neighborhood and your market. If you're thinking of making a move in this market, be sure to get in touch with our team and we can discuss your options and help you create the right strategy for you. In the meantime, be sure to follow me on Instagram, adina.yvr and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I can't wait to see you next month.